Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Kovac here, and for this one I'm going to be trying out the uh, Void Scarred Cat, more preferably the, uh, the Void Cyclone, which is a magic type version of the ordinary, you know, flying type cyclone. So, uh, yeah, I figured it'd be pretty cool. I haven't, well, I've actually been testing it out just a little bit last night, but, um, get into that more detailed in a moment but holy crap a freaking top tier team I really like that little uh, that little white snowy model for that bloodstone tunneler I got the green one but that one's pretty cool anyway yeah let's go ahead and start out with the void scarred cat ooh um hopefully he'll dot me up first that'd be great Oh no, he swapped me out first. I wasn't expecting that. I uh, usually he'll freaking you know die you up first and then swap you. Not him. All right, so let's go for Void Cyclone now and go for this awesome Void Slap. Hopefully he doesn't go into the Imp and swap me out again. Cause God, that would be annoying. Well, actually, if he swaps me out, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because. I mean, it'll take take me into my Jade Miss Dancer anyway, so so yeah, that wouldn't be all that bad, I guess. Ooh, Void Cyclone is hitting without the uh, extra hit chance. It's probably just gonna kill me first before doing anything too serious. Now, luckily, my Void Cyclone is putting in some work, which is pretty great. Uh, let's see. Good thing is I am faster than the Bloodstone on Skittering Eel. It's just the Imp that's really going to be a bit of a bugger. Um, let's go for a Thunderbolt. If he swaps me out, then it's whatever, I guess. Boom. That should be the Flying Rush on that pet, right? Sure is. There goes his swap right there. Um, I think I wanted to just go back into the eel because I feel like he's just gonna swap anyway. Yeah, he went into the fell afflicted skyfin. Okay, all right. Hopefully he'll go for a wing buffet. Nice, he did. Ooh, I gotta silence my phone there. All right, I'll be able to kill off this little flyer right here. Ba boom. If I have. Jade Mist Dancer versus the Imp in the end. I think that the matchup will swing more in my favor. I believe. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. He's debating all to do. I haven't done that much damage to the Bloodstone Tunneler, unfortunately, but and it should be fine. Let's go for. Let's go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt, I guess. Ooh, nice crit. Very nice crit. Oh, that took me down. Holy crap. Wait, that did 350. Oh, it's because of his beast ratio. I was about to say, I wasn't, um, I wasn't, uh, freaking, I was trying, what's the word I'm thinking about? Oh, I wasn't at 25% health for him to do extra damage or whatever, but I forgot about the, uh, the beast ratio. Well, from here, I think I'm pretty much screwed because he could just paralyzing venom. He's got swallow you whole doing a crap ton of damage. And yeah, I basically lose. Oh, holy crap. Uh, that's actually a pretty, pretty great team that he has right there. Do I have that same exact team? Uh, what was it? The uh, Bloodstone Tunneler. I really love that pet. That pet's amazing. Alright, so Bloodstone Tunneler. Uh, no, I don't. Surprisingly, but that's a pretty great team, I'd have to say. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and keep back up now. Before anyone says anything, let's address the elephant in the room. I know this looks exactly like, uh, Roscoe's one team that he did a video on. However, I did try experimenting with, uh, the, uh, ooh, perfect, all flying types. <laughs> oh, man. I, I did try experimenting with uh, other aquatic type pets. Can't get the words out. Uh, at first, I was using the, um, the uh, what's it called, the Hermit Crab in that spot, but uh, surprising, oh my god, did I seriously just miss that Cyclone? 
That void cyclone, I might add. You have got to be screwing me. What the hell? Literally the perfect freaking match in the whole damn world, and it misses that ability. Ah, my god, that is infuriating beyond infuriating, let me tell you. But yeah, I was experimenting with the um, Hermit Crab, but what I found was having too much aquatic damage wasn't very good because I was running into some magic types quite a bit. There were actually a lot of really close games, but I still pulled out the W. I'll show you in just a second. But I think based on that faggot of a miss right there, oh, I mean, he missed right there, but mine was way more important, considerably way more important. Um, yeah, I think I lose, but, I mean, there is a chance that I could still win this. It's just going to be kind of hard with, uh, two more birds with their racial still. And, yeah, my Void Scarred Cat is pretty low in health, so he's not really going to be able to do much. Ooh, come on, bring this below its racial. Ooh, nice, it did. It totally did. Uh, let's go for a rain dance right here because I mean he has a pretty great chance to miss. Oh, he didn't even go for it. Okay All right, let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so he's only got one left He might just go ahead and do his call darkness just to kill me off. Yeah, I figured he would Oh, and it crit too. Holy crap. All right. We only have this one bird left so is he going to go ahead and do that now or is he going to wait for my eel if he waits i think i win because i'll hit him with this void slap oh no he did it now well i still think i win because uh he's only got this one pet left and as long as i get him below his racial because he is a power power type i should be good to go as long as this don't miss okay nice noise 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 okay 283 times two i think that will be enough Assuming I don't miss or something. <gasps> oh, crap. Okay. All right. Just please, please, Skittering Eel, do not miss it. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Because he's below that threshold, so that's going to do extra damage. Holy crap. I can't believe I won that. <laughs> oh, that was so freaking close. All right. So, anyway, let me get this off my chest before I keep for another battle. I was experimenting with the Hermit Crab, uh, but... I was running into quite a bit of magic types. Here, I'll even pull it up for you. Pet Battle Log Keeper. So yeah, last night, so disregard these two battles, I was running into quite a bit of competition here. Uh, there was a win right there, but he freaking forfeited. I went against a male mental right there. I almost lost that, actually, because he had a way of taking down my Void Cyclone. And then, obviously, the male mental. It came down to my Hermit Crab and his Bog Hopper. Even though his Bog Hopper went first, he didn't do enough damage to kill me. And I ended up taking him down. Uh, this one, I think I just got pretty... I think he forfeited, did he not? I can't remember. I can't remember what this guy did. It doesn't say forfeit, but I'm pretty... I Actually, no. I do remember the Hermit Crab had a 1v1 with the MPD at the end, and luckily I was able to pull out the W. Uh, this one right here was a bit easier, obviously, and then I went against this freaking guy quite a bit, and I lost twice. And then finally, I freaking got the upper hand in this match, and he actually ended up forfeiting, which was pretty hilarious. So, yeah, as you can see, I was going against quite a bit of competition, so I decided to switch to the Skittering Eel, because, like Roscoe said, uh, you know... Too much aquatic damage isn't very good for this team, and normally your third pet will be an aquatic type. I really did try and look for a different third aquatic type besides the Skittering Eel and Hermit Crab, but nothing really seemed to jump out at me. I mean, there was the uh, the option for, let me find it, it's, it's a crab. Not the Ember Crab, but it's another crab. Where is it at? I forgot what it was called. But I know it has rain dance. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, oh, the Young Sand Sifter, which is actually a pretty damn good pet. I think it's tier 1 as well. As long as it's the SS breed, I just have the HH breed for some reason. But this pet is still pretty damn good. The SS breed is still faster than the Fiendish Imp. 
It's got both Carpnado and Rain Dance, which is pretty insane. And not only that, but you can take Scratch, so you're a double counter to Undead. So I really ought to go get an SS Breed for this. But I didn't really decide to use this because, I mean, I already got a Rain Dance user right here. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to have freaking, you know, strong damage versus Undead. And Carpnado is just a really damn good AoE, especially if I can get some crits with it Rain Dance on top of uh cleansing rain being up so i guess that wouldn't be a bad third option neither and then obviously there's also the coastal bounder but again i already have my jade mist dancer here so yeah i'm not trying to copy uh you know roscoe's the team or whatever it's just it was really too damn good to really pass up skittering eel only team i have with it it's a pretty cool pet and uh it's just got its pretty good uses i mean it is faster than the standard 325 speed pet and it's just pretty good with its little thunderbolt and uh dive to finish off pets and so all the holes pretty great too i guess you could technically take jolt too but you kind of have to interweave your abilities kind of like bone serpent if you're going to do that and here we go just like i said faster than the uh standard 325 and i have a very good matchup against that corgi with my eel. Alright, so Void Scarred Cat. Let's not miss any more Void Cyclones. Please, God, that would be horrible. Speaking of the Void Scarred Cat, it's actually a pretty cool pet and has a lot of AoE potential. Like, holy crap, with both Void Cyclone and Void Slap, because Void Slap just hits for a crazy amount, especially with the freaking Beast Racial. You should see it tear apart flying types, man. And I thought I was going to have a much easier time than I did with the last match, but a certain kitty decided he wanted to miss his little thing there, so. What can you do? I'm going to go ahead and go for my rain dance now. Ooh, I'm kind of glad you have super bark instead of a uh, little cauterize there. Let's go for acid rain. And I basically watch the numbers roll in. With the AoE. Boop, bop, bang. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that Void Cyclone do its work. Another great thing about a Void Scarred Cat is if you do have it on the back line with its Beast Racial, uh, that Void Cyclone is going to be doing even more damage on top of the potential to crit. With some of them I've been seeing get over 200 damage, which is pretty insane. And at this point, it's pretty much over. This uh, is a much easier match than the ones that I've been having uh, today so far, as well as last night. Because holy crap was last night uh, pretty tough. I meant to record this last night, but there was just so much freaking stiff competition in the same freaking teams back to back to back that I thought, eh, it wouldn't be that entertaining, so... I decided against it, but I'm obviously going to do that now. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, I was doing the Hermit Crab. Hermit Crab isn't a bad option. It's just he has all aquatic abilities, and you really do need that diversity and damage. Uh, obviously, Fiendish Imps will give this team trouble because none of these pets are faster than the Imp. Uh, Hermit Crab is the main thing that can deal with that thing. So I guess that's one more reason why you should run the her hermit crab over skittering eel but i do really like the idea of the skittering eel so uh for that i say thank you roscoe because it's a pretty cool pet you don't see it a whole lot and it has some pretty interesting abilities too i'd have to say ss breed is definitely the way to go <clears throat> yeah i really need to go give me an ss breed young sand sifter that way I could start using that competitively. That was wild caught. But yeah, I've been, I just kept looking through all my aquatic types and I just couldn't really find anything that really stuck out. Because generally with cyclone teams, you do want a uh, an aquatic type as your third. Yeah, but nothing really caught my eye, to be honest. I thought about Koopa at one point, but he's just way too freaking slow because he's a uh, double counter. He's got both aquatic abilities and a critter abilities. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Um, Ghost Shark's pretty fun. I really like that pet. I haven't used that pet in a long while. Uh, Hermit Crab. There it is. Let's see. Um. Yeah, but I mean, like you can see, nothing is really jumping out at me. I mean, well, there is Mr. Krabs too, but it's not the best pet in the world, to be honest. He is pretty cool, though. There's Purple Puffer, but again, like the Hermit Crab, pretty much all aquatic type abilities, unless you want to take Spike Skin, which is actually pretty great against magic types. I tried to see if there were any uh, aquatic types I had, just a spammable Dragon Ken ability. And unfortunately, they're pretty much all fish with spike skin. So, yeah, there was no really, not really any good help there. So, yeah, nothing really jumped out at me, to be honest. So, either Hermit Crab or the Skittering Eel are the main way to go, I would say. I mean, there is a Spawnaganapus, which is kind of similar to the Skittering Eel, but... Skittering Eel is definitely way, way better. Way better, for sure. Especially because of the breed. Definitely want that extra speed. And yeah, that's pretty much the thought process behind all of that. Let's take in this queue, because I did remember a queue popping just a moment ago, but I guess they declined it or something? I'm not too sure. But yeah, Void Scarred Cat. If I were to say, I would say this pet is probably, I guess, a lower tier 1 pet. Because there's just so much freaking, you know, AoE potential with this pet. With Void Slap and Void Cyclone. Like I said, with the Beast Rachel doing even more damage, which is insane. Too bad we don't have a replay system. Otherwise, I'd show you guys some, uh, some of the battles from last night. Because... Holy crap, I was just on the edge of my seat laughing at how much damage this thing was able to do. It is a power power type, even though it only has 305 attack power. But it does have a little extra health, so it's a little tanky. Plus, whenever it gets its beast racial, it'll uh, have a little more health. So, that's pretty great too. I kind of wish that it was a 260 speed pet. Because it kind of sucks having just 256 because anything 260 and over is basically just going to outspeed you. Which is unfortunate. Never want to take flank on this pet. So for obvious reasons, Claw is definitely the way to go. And then obviously your uh, bread and butter is Void Slap and Void Cyclone. Here's the cue that uh, popped just a moment ago. Top in this next battle. Oh, cool. Tropla the Yasiraj, oh my goodness, and it's a power power breed too. Dreadful Breath team with the Clutch Sister. Well, this ought to be pretty interesting. Let's see whose AoE can out AoE the other person. Uh, if you guys were wondering, I'm pretty sure it's him. However, he will go ahead and set up Acid Ring for me, so that will help me a little bit. Oh, holy crap, why did that have to crit? Oh, did that really have to crit? Alright, Void Slap. He's just going to spam that. Good thing is my cat here takes weak damage from that. So I can go straight into my Jade Mist Dancer. Go ahead and set up his stuff. Rain Dance. I think I just want to go for a Steam Fin right off the bat. Uh, seriously, Void Cyclone? You didn't hit the drop of Yasiraj. Oh, uh, what's the matter with you? Oh, if that would have crit, that would have been awesome. Oh, he didn't go for a Swallow You Hole. I thought he was. Huh. Oh, well. Well, this Acid Rain is going to be doing quite a bit of damage already under Cleansing Rain. Plus that extra chance to crit. And I think basically from here I win. He did do quite a bit of AoE, but he kind of helped me out by throwing out Cleansing Rain first. Before me. So it basically gave my aquatic abilities... Even more damage before I even had to throw out my own Acid Rain. So yeah, basically from here I win. A Clutch Sister is definitely not going to bring this one home. That is for sure. Just going to go ahead and heal up here. And as long as this crits, this Clutch Sister will die. There's just nothing he can do. 
So, uh, yeah, goodbye, Clutch Sister. Ba-boom. Not even the correct breed. And it uh, looks like I didn't even need a crit because Jade Mist Dancer hit hard enough. So, that was great. That was a pretty good win. Definitely feel good about that because any other team, I would probably have a much more difficult time versus that. For obvious reasons, I wish I had a Power Power Joplin of Yasiraj. But uh, me, Hiru, and I think... Lendica too. I'm not. I don't know what the breed of his is, but for some weird reason, we all have a trend of getting the power balance breed. And yeah, I mean, just wish I had the uh, power power one. Let's see. Drop. Let. Yeah, power balance. Like I said, power power is definitely the way to go. It's just so so much damage. Not the best, you know. Not the best. Uh, Dreadful Breath user, but. Definitely, uh, definitely up there as far as damage goes. Oh, and he runs away. I mean, yeah, I don't blame you. It's basically going to be a freaking rinse and repeat there, buddy. Rinse and repeat. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I should really make a, a macro for Pet Battle Lockkeeper, kind of like how Roscoe does. But yeah, I've been running into quite a bit of stiff competition. That Darkness team right there really gave me some trouble because he was using a uh, a uh, Frostkin element. I forgot what that pet's called, but it was one of the new ones with um with crap. I forgot what I forgot what the uh, the thing was called. I'll get to it in just a second. But it looks like two two of these birds again. And then a sinister squashling. Alrighty then. Let's just go ahead and bring in Void. Scarred Cat. Please don't miss your Void Cyclone again. Oh, he didn't even go for uh, Call Darkness. Thank goodness, because... God, that is so annoying. First play, he goes for Darkness, and then I miss. Alright, Void Slap. Look at that damage. Beautiful. Alright, let's go into Jade Mist Dancer. See if he goes for Nocturnal Strike. He totally did, and he missed. Very nice. Alright, let's go for Brain Dance. Hopefully he'll do a little bit of damage to me. That way I'll heal it up a little bit. And uh, here goes the damage. Boom, boom, and boom. Just absolutely destroys flyers. Now, uh, counteracting that, uh, freaking Mechanicals take weak damage from both the Cyclone as well as Void Slap. On top of doing extra damage to the Void's Card Cat, so uh, the regular Cyclone and Void Cyclone definitely have their advantages slash uh, slash disadvantages. So yeah, oh, I killed that freaking bird with that. Did that bird even get to come in at all? I don't think it did. I think it just died to AOE on the back line. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it absolutely tears apart um, birds, but uh, to be honest, I haven't been seeing too many mechanicals lately. At least not versus this team, I don't think. I'm trying to think. But, uh, oh, what was that What was that pet I was thinking of? Oh, this was what it was. The Playful Frost game. There was that guy from last night. He was freaking running Flash Freeze because basically that team was an attempt to counter me. And it did very well. He was running Flash Freeze so he could slow down my pets. He's running Tidal Wave because he was destroying my Void Cyclone, which really sucked. And he was running Geyser just to be annoying to uh, stun me and crap. Uh, it was mainly because of the playful Frost Skin that gave me trouble against that guy. And so I finally got the upper hand against him and destroyed that thing all out. And uh, by the time I destroyed that and was able to get my Void Cyclone up, he noticed he was... Uh, going to lose so he ran away but yeah let, while I'm waiting for that let me look pet battle hog keeper oh, I was gonna go look here I was gonna see if there was any mechanicals that I've gone against recently with this team I don't think I have to be oh wait then I go against an MPD I think yeah I think I went against an MPD I already mentioned that oh, I ran away again Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, where is it at? Where is that? Where is that? Oh yeah, I did go against an MPD, but obviously the only mechanical damage that MPD has is the uh, bombing run, which it was not using. I did go against the um, Dark Moon Tonk too. I forgot about that, but that thing got absolutely destroyed. But yeah, I didn't go against a whole lot of mechanicals or anything with mechanical damage for that matter. Alright, let's queue up again. Hopefully not the same guy because he's probably just going to keep running away. That same uh, All Beast team, I think it was. Saw a spider. Saw... Actually, I forget what the other two pets were, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, there was a rat. So no, it wasn't an All Beast team. Got a rat, a spider, and I forgot what the third pet was. <clears throat> <sighs> Ooh, there's a uh, YouTuber that I like. He's streaming right now. Well, I'm definitely gonna go watch that uh, after I'm done recording. This might be my last battle. I'm not sure gonna be approaching the uh, 30 minute mark I usually like to keep it 30 minutes or less usually sometimes they are a little more but I have been told that uh, longer is better so whatever uh, whatever people like to see so that's that overall pretty pretty great team and a pretty great pet in the form of void scarred cat really love this pet Definitely was one of the first uh, pets I bought off the auction house when I came back to recording and stuff. Oh, this is a pretty cool, interesting team. Pretty neat stuff. Guardian Cobra Hatchling, that's a pretty good pet. Um, yeah, let's just start out with the whole thing right here. Now, he probably has Seer Magic. I was close to throwing down my Void Cyclone, but it always f scares me seeing uh, Seer Magic and uh, Tidal Wave and crap like that, because I always gotta be hesitant. I see that crap all the time, and they'll just take it down, so. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this down, unless, of course, I kill this thing first. Oh yeah, it's both of the dots. Huh, interesting. Usually run one or the other. Yeah, he's probably not going to do it because he knows that I know that he has that. Uh, are you going to blinding poison me? I'd really rather that you didn't, to be honest. I can go into Skittering Eel, though, and take that blinding poison and just go ahead and dive. There we go. Ooh, I even dodged a, a Slitter. I was about to say Skitter, but well, that's a different ability. Uh, Void Scarred Cat, will you live a hit when you come back in? I think you will. Depending on how hard that said ability hits for. Yeah, he definitely has Seer Magic. Clearly, this is probably a player I've gone against and he's just bringing Seer Magic to counter my Void Cyclone. I see right through you, buddy. You're not going to get me. Now from here, I think, I think, I'll just stay in my on my Skittering Eel. I don't want to pass, I guess I'll go for Thunderbolt even though it won't do as much damage, but I think passing would just be a wasted turn, so I'll just go and go ahead and go for my Thunderbolt. Now he doesn't have, oh well, actually no, he does have AoE if he does have Spear by or Beam, but it doesn't do all that much damage. Now he doesn't have really any way of avoiding this. Ah, oh, crap. That did quite a bit of damage. I don't think my Void Scarred Cat will survive now. Oh, two health. Well, that was hilarious. Well, no, looks like he's not going to survive now. Oh, we got the same speed, too. Well, that's interesting. go for that oh that hurt hopefully I'll go first again that way he'll do less damage and nope he's going to do not as much damage as the last hit but it's still kind of hurt <laughs> um are you gonna AoE or are you going to just go for another spirit fire bolt oh he did AoE okay um 
I mean, if he does go for the blind, I still have, you know, 50% chance to hit. So I think I'd rather chance that. Oh, I hit him. Okay, cool. Nice. It hit and crit. So that was a big risk right there because if I did miss, I would have just swapped into my my uh, cat so he could take that slither right there and then I obviously have the 1v1. I don't know if I would have won that if, if I didn't hit that and then I soaked the damage on my cat because he had this beast racial and he's faster plus he's got flurry so... I think that was pretty much my only freaking way of winning that, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, I think that will end it for this one. Uh, quite a bit of battles, actually. Unfortunately, wasn't able to, you know, showcase the ones from last night. But as you can see, got uh, 13 wins so far. Three losses with this team. Uh, once again, I was trying out a different third pet. So, wasn't trying to copy Roscoe, but, uh... Uh, man, his uh, team composition with the Skittering Eel was just too good to pass up. So, you know, hats off to him, high fives all around, and uh, pat him on the back. It was a pretty great team, so how could I resist? So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in trying out this team, I highly recommend it. Now, normally you will have all of your beast type pets in the third slot right here. Mainly because of Pinefield and crap like that, so they don't get swapped into that. But it is a Cyclone team, so I figured, hey, I'm pretty much going to need it right here. Because, say, if I go against a Fiendish Imp or something, I need it right here if I want it to get swapped in. Uh, because, you know, you could try and juke him, bring in the Jameis Dancer, and then it swaps into Fritz Card Cat. So, that's the reason why I have it there. So, hopefully, a uh, buddy of mine doesn't freak out about that. That's my reasoning behind that. But, yeah, normally it would be... Uh, right here. The only other way it would come in if it was something like Wing Buffet, because I think Wing Buffet brings in the lowest health pet. But uh, my Void Scart Cat is the uh, tankiest pet of these three anyway, so that wouldn't work either. So yeah, it's probably best to leave it right here. But uh, overall, really hope you guys enjoyed. This is Kopak, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out for now.